The Raspberry Pi is one of the cheapest, smallest, and most capable single board computers on the market today. So it's no wonder we see the Raspberry Pi being deployed by amateur radio operators and used in off-grid communications. Now, one of the ways the manufacturers of the Raspberry Pi have kept costs down is by omitting components from the computer which aren't absolutely necessary for its operation. So the topic of today's video is installing and configuring a real-time clock for the Raspberry Pi. When we come back, I'll tell you why. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Since about March of 2018, I've been using the Raspberry Pi as a portable field computer. Now, since it lacks a real-time clock, I configured a GPS dongle to act as the time reference for the Raspberry Pi. That's been working extremely well. Now, although the performance of the GPS has been absolutely exceptional, I want to add some redundancy to my Raspberry Pi to take it completely off grid. After all, we don't always have the luxury or the desire to use external infrastructure. This is especially true for emergency communications and communications off grid. So to augment our GPS, we're going to use a Delta Sierra 3231 high precision RTC module. This is an extremely accurate I squared C module with TCXO. It also has a built in supercapacitor allowing the RTC module to maintain its time even if we lose mains power. Now the first thing we're going to do is install the real-time clock. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is powered down and disconnected from all power sources. Now we'll push the module down on the inside header closest to the SD card. It's important to double check where you're placing it on the headers before pushing it down. Getting it wrong can damage your real-time clock and it might also damage your Raspberry Pi. So check and double check before starting it up. That's all there is to the installation. Now we're going to boot up the Raspberry Pi and go ahead and do the software configuration. We'll be using the command line to do the entire configuration. It's really simple and all you have to do is do what I do on the screen. Just don't skip ahead. The first thing we'll do is check to see if we've installed the module correctly. For this, we're going to type sudo space i2c detect space hyphen y space one. Enter. If we've done everything correctly, you'll see the number 68 there on the screen. That's our Delta Sierra 3231 real time clock module. The next step is to load the RTC into the kernel. To do this, we're going to type sudo space mod probe space rtc hyphen ds1307 enter so now your real-time clock is loaded into the kernel for the next step we're going to have to type sudo bash because we'll need super user privileges now if at any point during the next steps you get an access denied check the description i'll leave you a tutorial on how to create super user access for yourself so our next step is to type echo space ds1307 space 0x68 space right arrow space forward slash sys forward slash class forward slash i2c hyphen adapter forward slash i2c hyphen 1 forward slash new underscore device enter after that go ahead and type exit because we don't need root privileges anymore now we're going to check the time on your real-time clock to do this we're going to type sudo space hwclock space hyphen r enter if this is the first time your real-time clock module has been used, it's probably going to show something like January 1st, 2000. Now, my Raspberry Pi is totally off-grid, so it gets its time from the GPS, but you can get time by connecting it, your Ethernet or Wi-Fi cable to the Internet. 
Once you've done that, you can type date on the command line to get the correct time. Naturally, we want to set that correct time on the real-time clock, and to do that, we type sudo space hwclock space hyphen w. You've just saved the time to the real-time clock. Once we've done that, we can go back and check the time of the real-time clock with sudo space hwclock space hyphen r. So now that the time is set on the real-time clock, you might think that, okay, we're done, but actually we're not. There's a couple of more things we need to do. So the first thing is to add the RTC module to our modules file. This will ensure the RTC module is loaded at boot. To do this, we're going to run sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash modules, then enter. At the bottom of that file, we're going to add the line RTC hyphen DS1307. Make sure you double check your spelling, then use Control X to exit out of this file. You'll be asked if you want to save the modified buffer, select Y for yes, then select Enter to update that file. Next, we're going to make sure the DS1307 real-time clock module is created at boot. To do this, we're going to edit the rc.local file. Using your command line, type in sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash rc.local enter. Now add the following lines to the end of this file echo space ds1307 space 0x68 space right arrow space forward slash sys forward slash class forward slash i2c hyphen adapter forward slash i2c hyphen one forward slash new underscore device then move to the next line sudo space h w c l o c k space hyphen s now drop down one more line and add date go ahead and save that file go back to the command line and reboot your raspberry pi to do this we can type sudo space reboot right from the command line When your Raspberry Pi reboots, check your clock. You should have the correct time right in the tray. If you're also using a GPS for off-grid time, we can check the GPS using Crony C, as well as the date command to check the real-time clock. So let's open up a terminal window to do that. So now the only two sources of time and time management on my Raspberry Pi are the GPS and the real-time clock. I'm no longer dependent upon the internet to sync my time. Now, as you can see from the video, my little camera copter was hating the weather we had this day, but I wanted to get out into the field and test this tutorial, making sure the GPS and real-time clock worked as we expect them to. So I went out the weekend of October 12th with my amateur radio gear and the solar powered field station. So this was the first time using the real-time clock as my primary time source. The GPS provided a secondary time source as well as location services. The station was completely off-grid and completely independent of the internet. So not only was I testing the off-grid timekeeping capabilities of the Raspberry Pi, I was also testing the winter configuration of the solar-powered field station. Both the Raspberry Pi, my amateur radio gear, and the solar-powered field station performed flawlessly. The GPS and real-time clock played very well together. Both devices seamlessly agreed on the time, and the GPS provided the coordinates of my location. And all of this was done without any action being taken by the user. Now, for those of you who have constantly egged me on or given me that motivation to become more independent of the grid, here we are. 
Now, since we started these Raspberry Pi projects last year, we've added a low cost GPS dongle. Now we've added an inexpensive real time clock to the Raspberry Pi. As you might expect, we're not done yet. We're very well on our way to creating a field capable Raspberry Pi. One which is less complex, uses off the shelf components and is easier to configure. All right, guys, let's close down this video. First things first, check the description. There's usually lots of information there. Next, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and please leave me a thumbs up. Next, check the latest articles on www.oh8stn.org. That's up and running, and it's pretty awesome. Lastly, drop me a question or a comment. If you're supporting this channel through Patreon, PayPal, or simply sharing my content, you're absolutely magnificent and I couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, leave me a comment and a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.